there will be a, a level of curiosity about this. Why is it 35 pages long? It's a simple, you know, simple verdict. But technically speaking, what's in those 35 pages? Well, sir, the judgment copy is not out yet, but I can tell you this. The Supreme Court, when the Maharashtra lawyer Arbasan said that he wants to file an appeal and he wants to uh, f uh, challenge the Bihar government's decision to uh, transfer the case to the CBI, the court has said that we've already looked into all of these aspects. So first of all, the court has looked into the question of the... Uh, the, the jurisdiction under uh, section 406 that is transfer petitions what happens there what happens to CBI investigation because the C investigation was already transferred to the CBI the issue that had been raised regarding whether the Mumbai police's ongoing inquest proceeding is a valid investigation remember the court has very clearly said that the 174 inquest proceedings are not an investigation therefore uh, the Bihar government was justified in saying that uh, transferring the case Th that aspect that discussion would also be there in detail because remember this is this was not a cut and dried issue the fact that the CBI was already investigating the case is uh, the reason uh, it is possibly a reason why the court has given the judgment that it has but the detailed discussion on jurisdiction on where the FIR could be filed, how the FIR could be filed, how the transfer to the CBI has gone, and now uh, the fact that the Mumbai police has to cooperate with the investigation, what are the contours of uh, inquest versus investigation, all of that will be in this judgment. So it, uh, that is why, uh, why it, uh, and uh, mind you, if I'm, uh, I'm, I should also remind you, 35-page judgment is actually a very short judgment when it comes to uh, detailing the law from the Supreme Court because uh, this will also include all the arguments that